What in the world is this thing? Reed, what did you buy? I don't remember approving this. Today's a good day. We uh, have been looking for one of these for years. It is a grain evader and uh, we have one and it's exciting and I'll show you why. But uh, this is gonna feed, we're gonna feed pigs and chickens with this, mainly pigs. Show you what we used to do to feed pigs and uh, you'll understand why this is so exciting. And uh, this one in particular has some really cool features that we've been holding out, waiting for. Um, there's not a lot of these in the country to begin with. And the f features that this one has are even more rare. So uh, we'll go through it today and uh, feed some pigs. So the way we fed pigs for the last five or six years, I just showed you, filling up a bucket. Now we have to go over, take the lid off the feeder, which we'll have to do anyway with the with the new grain cart, but it'll be a quick thing in the morning where we go around, pop all the lids while we're checking on animals, and then come through and, and uh, feed. You don't even have to get out of the cab, fill up the feeder in one trip all the way, and then when we close up at night, as long as it's not raining during the day, when we close up at night, we'll just go ahead and um, and close and close all the lids. But for now, or what we've done and what we're doing this morning still, until we get this grain cart going, is just what we showed you. So fill up the bucket at the, at the grain bin, bring it over here, and uh, get up in the bucket, fill up the feeder. It's uh, slow, kind of dangerous, especially when it's wet out and slippery and uh just can't can't say how how much we look forward to the new grain cart <laughs> One strap down, 10 to go. Hey, where are you going? Come back. What's that sound? Big sounds. All right, truck's warming up. We're gonna go get the bale spear off the tractor. Actually, we're gonna check the fluids in both tractors. Bale spear off the tractor bucket on there there's a ball on the bucket that we use to move trailers that's got to come off 
so that there's a hole there. We're gonna use that to pull the grain evader off the trailer. And then I'll hook it up to the other tractor that we have to switch out the PTO from 1,000 to 540. We'll show you that. And then we should be in business and we'll test this. Uh, we'll check the fluids. And uh, Sonny, we'll check the fluids in the uh, grain cart, grease it, hook it up, test it. Should be a good day. Bucket switched out. All right, time to get this ball off here. We use this ball to uh, to move uh, trailers, like goosenecks or even the flatbed trailer. Um, it's a lot easier sometimes to move it with the bucket. It's real, real nimble and just easy to lift the bucket up into it and and, and move it around real quick rather than hooking it up to a truck. So uh, this ball comes off. That'll leave us a hole in the bucket. We should be able to hook the grain cart uh, tongue right up to that, pull it off of the trailer, should be good to go. We got it off the trailer. There's a little too uh, much going on to film it for you, but uh, we're gonna get. Uh, we're just, we have a, a gearbox here. We have to check the oil. We're gonna grease this thing. Check the tires. Get this. Figure out this uh, this tarp up here. This cover. Um, hook up the hydraulics and hopefully load it up. about this thing we've got uh check the oil hydraulics uh, adjusted the switch to pto on the tractor adjusted the the hydraulic settings on the tractor had to slow things down a little bit um uh greased it checked the uh, tire pressure figured out the cover it's got a it's, this thing's fancy man it's got a cover on it been messing with the auger auger boom that that goes up and rotates left and right um things like a Cadillac uh, and uh, we're pretty excited about it. so we're gonna put a little bit of feed in it run it um, clean it out make sure there's no junk in there in the auger system make sure everything looks good running good and then we're going to uh, put some feed in it and fill up uh, feed some pigs
will say one of the first things I've noticed about this is that the way we're using it here on our place, a lot of it is operating off the back of the cart. We're backing into places. I'm backing in so I don't have to go into the pig pasture. I'm backing up to this fence here and it is tough to see. It's tough to see behind this. It's tough to see the auger. You can't just put that auger down in any position. It's got to be almost completely behind this thing um, to put it down below grade, below level of where it is now. So we are definitely going to need to look into getting a camera for this back here so we can see what's going on so we can operate more uh, safely uh, without busting this thing up. So, so far that's really the only thing that I've seen so far that I don't like about it is that it is very hard to see. I'm sure in time uh, we'll get used to how we operate here and, uh, and it'll become easier but I think that a camera back there mounted somewhere somewhere back uh, on the back side of that auger so we can see where we're backing up or you know how close we're getting and then also to know that that auger is not gonna uh you know when we put it below level here it's not gonna pinch down on on the uh, cart itself so that's just one of the only things we've seen so far otherwise this thing's been awesome as you can see i'm definitely still learning how to use that i just realized in one direction when you're rotating this thing it'll only let you go so far i'm actually a little concerned about that hydraulic line right there uh, the way I have it now, so we're definitely going to have to look at that. You have to go in a certain direction if you want to get directly behind the car. So, still learning, but this thing is uh, this thing is awesome. All right, so we're uh, pulling off to one of the buildings here, a greenhouse that we have pigs in, and uh, we have the drain invader on here. So we're going to get this thing, uh, get this feeder filled up a little easier than it used to be, for sure. We're just closing this front section. We're going to open up the back. I want to give them feed out of this back section. seen it leaking out of there before let's keep an eye on that now if you pick the compartment you want the grain to come out of there's really no reason to get out of this thing which is pretty cool okay so that feeder's full um i'm not sure how many bushel it is uh we still need to get the scale on this cart uh the monitor for the scale system hooked up so i'm not sure what kind of weight i'm dumping just yet but we haven't known what kind of weight we're dumping in the last six years, so I'm not too concerned this morning about it. But uh, either way, that took about two, two and a half minutes uh, to fill that feeder up completely. That would usually be about three buckets out of the loader. Um, so significantly more time. Um, just unreal how quick this is. Uh, how much time this is saving us. So we're just going to put this auger back in the cradle. And uh, I'm still learning the controls here. I have a feeling that is leaking out there. 
because we had that auger pointed just about all the way back towards the back and uh, probably um, just put a little bit of a different angle on that thing. So we'll get it close, put it down, Let's see, Let's see where we're at. We adjusted the hydraulics to the speed on this tractor uh, when we were getting this thing set up. So uh, it's still a little fast. You can see I'm having trouble getting it down in that cradle, but we'll adjust it some more. Um, and honestly, it's just a little bit of learning how how to finesse this thing a bit. But yeah, it's cool. Um, we're really happy with this. Sorry, I'm not doing a good job videoing it. Uh, I'm still learning myself, but we're really happy with this thing. I, I uh, if you pick the compartment you want the, the feed to come out of, or you open them both up if you have the same feed in the front and back compartment. There's, you know, you have the lid open on the feeder, uh, which is kind of going to be our thing in the morning to open up the lid so we just go around. There's no reason to even get out, which is really cool. It's really different for us. Um, this thing is going to be worth its weight in gold. Uh, it all, it is already paying off big time. So we're pretty excited about this, um, and uh, we'll definitely have some more videos coming up. So. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, if, you, if you like what we're putting out, let us know by hitting that like and subscribe button. It makes a huge difference uh, to YouTube, and they see you guys subscribe and like the videos, and uh, it helps share with other people that are interested in what we're doing out here. So thanks, guys. Have a good one.